Hey, hey, I'm Amy. Tonight's Live Around 5 is a hot topic. Last week, I talked about what not to do if you want to lose weight, and I had pushback about this in particular. So we're going to go a little bit deeper. What you might be struggling with if you're trying to count calories to lose weight. Now, here's the caveat. If you count calories and that helps you lose weight, don't fix what's not broken. Keep rocking it. But for a lot of people, counting calories doesn't work. And there's many reasons why. The first reason is because calorie counting isn't often accurate. I can think of myself, for example, when I'm excited about having a snack of a few almonds, I probably have more than a few almonds. I love eating them and I'll just kind of lose track and I'll attribute a certain amount of calories, but it may be in fact more. There are things that I eat that I don't know the calorie count for. And so I guess, and sometimes that can be wrong. And in fact, it's legal for companies to report under report by 20% how many calories are in something. So if you're in a particularly, you know, serious mode of saying you're going to have 1400 calories a day and you're inadvertently eating 2000, that's going to kind of mess up what you're trying to calculate. So counting them, just the fact of doing it can be difficult. Not all calories are created equal. This was my reasoning behind the original post is that people will choose low calorie, but also Maybe that means low protein, and maybe that means Franken food. It's really important when we're trying to get healthier, decrease inflammation in particular, that we eat the right types of food. Our bodies are designed to consume protein and things like that. So, or, you know, vegetables, proteins, all the things that were put on this planet for us to eat. One of the hallmarks of the 11 day jumpstart is if you can't pronounce one of the ingredients, or if one of the ingredients isn't something that you could have had 20 years ago, you probably shouldn't eat it during this jumpstart because the focus is to decrease inflammation. And a lot of the foods that we're consuming aren't created equal. They have toxic toxins in them, just like our cleaning products and everything else. Third is that it can be very time consuming and tedious. Instead of focusing on living your best life, maybe getting a good walk in the sunshine in, maybe going to lunch with friends, things that actually improve the quality of our lives. It can be very much something that we get caught up in and becomes tedious and time consuming, drawing us away from other things that could be more impactful in our journey to health. Next is it ignores the importance of all the other factors, balancing the nutrients, how you eat and when you eat, the quantity of what you eat. And it can also affect weight loss in the future, right? We've all been there. I've been there hundreds of times where I do something for a short period of time and it works, but then I just go right back to what I did before. The purpose of the 11 day jumpstart is to teach you a new way of eating so you can click into that anytime you want with items straight from the grocery store, one supplement that's super simple and easy, that's basically just about addressing your inflammation. And it's much more, it's something everybody can maintain. Now, it's also something that we expect people to take breaks from, right? One of the things that I commented on was that you need to have a little bit of wiggle room in any lifestyle, right? So if you're like 11 days, you can do whatever. But if you're talking about the next 50 years, 40 years, 30 years of your life, it's not realistic to say, I'll never have another cookie. I'll never have any refined sugar. I'll never have another bar that I love that's got full of chemicals. We're going to behave as humans. And so this allows us to do that. It's not sustainable in the long run is the last point. And honestly, I think anybody who's tried it and failed sees it, that it's something that we do for a short period of time. Often for me, it makes me feel bad about myself. If somehow I end up coming in over calories, even though I'm still hungry, I'm not addressing in that model, why am I still hungry? Even though I ate my allotted calories and more, it's because I'm not eating the right things at the right times in the right portions. I'm not moving my body the right way. I'm not hydrating the right way. I'm not getting outside in the sun. I'm not, you know, cancel clear. I'm working on doing all those things. But when you just focus on calories, it really undercuts an overall lifestyle shift that anybody can make with enough support and information. I think one of the things I struggle with is all the information that's out there. And every other day, there's some new wild thing. I love the 11 day jumpstart because to me, it's basic, it's simple, it's foods I can get from my grocery store or delivered from Walmart Plus 
or things I can get from Amazon if it's snacks, or I actually have a Thrive Market subscription for the snacks and some of the flours that I use now. Um, I use gluten-free flour in some things and almond flour in some things. And it's just taught me a new way of being where I'm still enjoying my life. So those are just six short reasons why calorie counting might not be doing for you what it wish it would. Now, if you're interested in the 11 day jumpstart, it's not too late. Our next one starts April 10th and I can help you get started. We just need you to get the supplements. The rest is free. And part of what I love about it is the community. It's a large group of people. We started out small and we've grown a lot that are all supporting you in this mission of trying to kick inflammation to the curb. We have tons of recipes to choose from and the whole community then adds more recipes to that. There's day by day, hour by hour checklist if you want that and general guidelines if that's what you prefer. There's an eating out guide, how to do it if you have kids, how to redo what you have in your kitchen. I mean, they've really thought of everything, which is what I'm so grateful for. There's daily videos where you're going to get kind of a boost, that little bit of endorphin that we all need, that encouragement and information, explanation and science behind why we're doing the things that we're doing and how it's going to impact us. And maybe even more importantly, there are people who are really changing their lives in wildly transformational ways with incredible results. And for me, if I'm going to try something, even if it's for 11 days, I want to see that it's been successful for somebody else. So the testimonials in there move me to share it because it's changed things for me, but the things that it's changed for other people mean the world. For me, one of my biggest focuses in decreasing inflammation is staying safe from Bell's palsy, which I've had twice. It's inflammation of the cranial nerve, and I have long-lasting impacts from the two occasions. I had it in 2002 and 2017, and I know the less inflammation in my body, the better for that. What I didn't know is all the things inflammation actually does, which is horrible. It's the root of basically all disease. So I love the idea of families doing this together. We're seeing a bunch of that. I love the community that's involved. And more importantly, I love giving people tools that they can then forever use. These guides are yours forever. You can download them and you'll be able to have a whole new perspective. Are you going to stick with every single step of it forever? Probably not, but you'll always know how you can lock back in if you need to. You'll always have that resource at your fingertips with the guides that are provided and the recipes. And you'll always kind of understand that it's almost not about the weight. It's about the inflammation. So if you'd like to know more or you know somebody that needs this, go ahead and comment or send me a DM. April 10th is when we start and we want to get you the supplement so you'll be ready to go in time. I hope you jump in with us because it's absolutely, dare I say, fun, <laughs> but it is. So stop counting those calories, start with a fresh perspective, and you'll see your health journey turn around really quickly. We got to focus on the right things, right? I hope you have a great day. I'll see you back here tomorrow, live around five. And I love you guys. Thanks so much for being here. I'm so grateful for you.